Hello everyone. Today's session is on Thevenin's theorem. So the problem is uh, by using Thevenin's theorem shown in figure, find the current in the trinomial system. So, so first step to follow while solving Thevenin's theorem is remove the resistor through which the current is uh, is being asked. Okay. So remove this 10 ohm resistor and then across this terminals AB, you have to calculate open circuit voltage or terminals voltage. Then from this terminals AB, you have to calculate terminals resistance by uh, deactivating all the sources present in the network and then draw the equivalent circuit. So first step, calculation of Thevenin's voltage. Step one, calculation of Thevenin's voltage or open circuit voltage. BTH. Okay, draw the circuit. By removing the ten ohm resistor. As 4 ohm resistor is hanging in air, okay, no current flows through that 4 ohm resistor. So voltage, VTH is nothing but voltage across this 3 ohm resistor. VTH, open circuit, VTH terminals voltage or open circuit voltage is nothing but the voltage across 3 ohm resistor. So I'll apply voltage division rule to calculate the voltage across three ohm resistor. So by applying voltage division rule, by applying voltage division rule, VTH is nothing but voltage across 3 ohm resistance. So V3 ohm is equal to total voltage that is 5 volts into the resistance value across which you are finding out the voltage. 3 pi into 3 divided by total resistance that is 5 plus 3. So you'll we'll be getting 15 by 8. So 15 by 8 is nothing but 1.875 volts. Okay. 
another method to find voltage across three ohm uh, resistor is by applying KVL. Then apply Ohm's law. You'll be uh, getting the voltage across three ohm resistor. That is another method. So if you apply voltage division rule, you'll be getting the answer in two steps. So it's your choice whether you can go, you can go for applying KVL or uh, voltage division rule. What I suggest is go for voltage division rule. Now next calculation step two. Calculation of calculation of Thevenin's resistance that is RTH. So short circuit. So you have to deactivate the source present in the circuit. Only source present in the circuit is five volts voltage source. You have to replace it by its internal resistance. Internal resistance of voltage source is zero. So replace it, it, it by short circuit. Okay. Short circuit is nothing but uh, in the place of voltage source, there will be a simple wire. That's it. So draw the circuit. Five ohms. 3 ohms, 3 ohms, and this is 4 ohms, okay, A, B, so we have to calculate the resistance seen from terminals A, B, so if you observe closely, 5 ohm and 3 ohm, they are in parallel and their equivalent resistance is in series with 4 ohm resistance. Okay, so RTH is nothing but RTH is nothing but 5 parallel with 3 plus 4. So 5 into 3 when two resistances are connected in parallel their equivalent resistance is 1 by R1 plus 1 by R2 or R1 R2 divided by R1 plus R2. So 5 into 3 divided by 5 plus 3 plus 4. 15 into 3 is 15 into 3 is sorry 5 into 3 is 15 divided by 8 plus 4. So 15 by 8 is 1.875 1.875 plus 4. So it is 5.875 ohm. Now final step is to calculate the current flowing through 10 ohm resistance. So step 3 draw the equivalent circuit that is Thevenin's voltage source in series with resistance and then you have to uh, put the load resistor that is here it is 10 ohm resistor. Okay, so VTH its value uh, what we got 1.875 volts
in series with Thevenin's resistance RTH is equal to 5.875 ohm in series with 10 ohm resist. So IL is nothing but total voltage divided by the total resistance. So IL is VTH divided by RTH plus RL. So VTH what we got 1.875 divided by Five point eight seven five plus ten. So it is one point eight seven five divided by fifteen point eight seven five. So how much will be getting finally? One point eight seven five divided by fifteen point eight seven five. So it is 0 0.118 amperes. Thank you.